So I wanted to ask while planning a particular project, what are the top three things embassy keeps in mind and does it differently, you know, than others according to you? Well, I, I do agree we do things differently and, and that's because we look at forward trends. So we look at where does this business, where is this business going to be in five, 10 years? We're not really looking at what's doing well today. Because yeah. if you, you know, if, you, if you're doing that, you buy land, you build it out, it's already three, four years in and, and that cycle might change. So we're looking at long-term businesses and, and, how, and, and, and what we can do to make sure that we, we excel in them and we're the first mover in those. And, and we've been in pretty much all those different buckets of asset classes. What, what do we do when we, when we start a new project? Again, it, it really depends on the asset class. Um, but I think that the ticket on, on the residential side, what we've learned is the ticket size is really going to be the key thing. And that's going to reflect on the way we design buildings going forward. So I think, um, you know, we've just built spaces too big. I think in India, we've built apartments too big. The ticket size goes up and you see a lot of unsold inventory. I think designing and building more efficiently is going to be key for us going forward focusing on that mid segment. We've had a good run with luxury uh, and we'll still continue to be in that space. But I think now is the need to be in that mid segment space, uh, focusing on that. On the office side, you know, we know Bangalore so well, 83% of our leases are all re re recurring tenants within our portfolio. So yeah. we're constantly engaging with them, knowing where they want to grow, understanding their business needs. Uh, and then understanding the city really well. Where's the city growing? What's the infrastructure coming up? Where do these tenants want to be in two, three, four years? And then accordingly buying land to meet those needs. So, you know, we're, we're a company that will very rarely buy land and build speculative space. We would buy land if we know there's a tenant who's interested and know we can build for them, do a build to suit, kind of secure part of your investment with, with the commitment and then go out there and build some speculative where you can then take up rents. So different asset classes have different strategies, but knowing the market, knowing your customer, uh, knowing what they can afford, knowing what their business wants is, is really key in, in making those decisions.